Don Drury here at Keysock Pavilion. It's halftime with a score of the Bay Bombers 21, the Brooklyn Red Devils 20. And my special guest is the women's captain of the Brooklyn Red Devils, the fiery and unpredictable Ann Calvello, the Leo. And I've got to say Leo because you've got your little purse with you. And, uh, it's my purse now, Don. Remember that? <laughs> How you been? I've been just terrific. And you look terrific. I understand you just came back from Hawaii. You got yourself in shape over there. And you've got a beautiful tan. And... Uh, you don't look any different than when I first saw you 10 years ago, Ann. Yeah. I look younger now than I did 10 years ago. I finally got my natural color hair this year and stuff. And uh, No more red and green. Are you ever going to do that again? I think well, the fans used to love it. Well, maybe like if roller derby does get back, you know. Well, I miss a lot of work. And I have uh, two other jobs, too, you know. So I got, that's why I keep in good shape, you know. You know, so I lost a lot of weight and everything, yeah. You always do. A little bit of competition out here this evening. Bomber shorthanded, only five skaters. and still just staying on top. And you've got your full strength out there. What's it going to be for the rest of the season? Well, we do have full strength. We have six girls tonight and stuff, you know. But I did lose one of my best, Jerry Amicello, but I got J.J. Burton back. And I got two new girls, which I like new kids. You know, break them in. They're doing a very good job. And no matter what Joni has on the bomber team, she's enough competition for anyone, you know, especially since she got a little bit heavier now and I got a little bit thinner. <laughs> that's that's not always the nicest way to put something like that, Ann. What about, what about what about Dolores Tucker now? Oh, Dolores no, is... No. No, really. One of the greatest. Like I said, I've skated with these kids, against them, under them, over them, or whatever. I've been a lot of their captains and stuff, but Tucker, Judy McGuire, all of them. I remember them like when they were just little kids, you know, like my own daughters. But when it's out there, they're great skaters. They're really great. Now you get to uh, one of the points, in, and, and that being that for the fans that are watching right now that maybe are just learning about the game, they don't really realize you used to women's captain uh, the Bay Bomber team 1954 when it first started, right through 1959. And uh, then you left, you went to the Red Devils and the Northwest Cardinals and back and forth, and you came back and you're haunting the Bay Bombers ever since you left. Well, that's why they call me the unpredictable. In fact, when I first got in roller derby down 30 years ago, I was captain then with Bobby Johnstar, so I've been captain for 30 years. Leos are leaders. <laughs> I'm going to haunt you. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're, you're too nice a lady to be picking on me. I'm just a poor little announcer oh. trying to make a living here. <laughs> How about the fans across the nation now, Ann? It's been a long time since the Bay Bombers have been out on a national road tour. They're getting geared up for one coming up. It's going to be the first time in six years. And there's a lot of cities that you like to go to. Oh, yes. I love skating all over the United States. I have a lot of fans, you know, especially I love St. Louis when they come after me with knives and guns and Chicago and all the places. No, it's, it's they're, not quite no, they're, Don't bet on it. But, they're, no, the fans all over the United States are great fans. I remember, you know, our road tours, they come out 20 below zero. Full houses, Newcastle, Indiana, 10,000 people, you know, really. They really back us up no matter where we go. Well, I, I have to remember uh, Newcastle, Indiana. It was a very, very receptive crowd there. You know, for a small town, it, it really amazes the people that, uh, or the skaters, I think, when they see such a large crowd. I know. It was just a high school gym, and that was the smallest track I've ever skated on in my life, if you remember. You could reach over across it. <laughs> I, yeah, I can remember a few of those small tracks, and uh, the skaters, it seems that that's a little bit rough on the legs. Yes, it is. Some of the, well, everyone's different height, you know, and shorter, longer legs, and people don't realize every night we skate, especially on a road trip, it's a different size track every night, you know, and it bothers us, but we're all pros, we can do it. The best in the league, as a matter of fact, as they say right in the open, this is the major league of bank track skating competition, bar none, and it's professionals like yourself, and Joan Weston, and Charlie O'Connell, and Mike Gammon, and Cavallo, I think, did make that possible. Well, thank you very much. You're too nice now. What are you up to? <laughs> I might ask you for a date. Oh. I'll take you out to the city of New York. It's a great town, too. Oh, oh yes, New York. I've, many years I've been there, yes. Well, let me, let me ask you one more thing before we leave, and we're running out of time. <laughs> no. As far as a road trip coming up, would the fans be able to see you in New York or Chicago? Well, I really don't know, Don. I have to be honest about it because I do have another job and stuff. Maybe on the weekends and something. I really don't know. It's too far in the future. I'll have to let you know. Or maybe if the price is right. It depends now. <laughs> if, if they write in, maybe we'll be able to get it. Okay, Don. I hope so. And I want to thank you for stopping with us. From the International Roller Skating League at Keysar Pavilion, thank you for joining us. <laughs>